Good morning, I'm Jenny from the A to Z of Emotional Health Online Library. It is a stunning morning in the UK here and wherever you are and whatever the time of day you are listening to this video, I hope your day is absolutely brilliant. In this video, I am going to share with you a really valuable approach to non-defensive communication. Now, in many communications, if somebody has done something that has caused us to feel unhappy or distressed or angry, it's so easy to point the finger, you know, and to sort of approach a conversation starting with, you know, you made me feel. And I would like us to consider doing something really completely different that may work far more effectively for you. Now, Clearly sometimes there are circumstances in which someone's actions have genuinely caused us considerable difficulty. And in those instances, it's really important for us to think very long and hard about what we want to do about that. But in a general, everyday kind of way, in our normal, average, everyday communications, if we can take an ownership of the way that we're feeling, and we can approach communication from that position, it changes the dynamic between us considerably. So for example, if I say to somebody, you made me feel frustrated or angry or upset or hurt, the chances are the moment I point the finger, they will feel defensive and often come back with a, a kind of a defensive reaction. They might sometimes try and divert it, or they're certainly going to potentially be less likely to want to listen to what I'm saying because it will feel as though I'm judging them. So a really effective way of approaching this is always to own what we ourselves are feeling and to open the conversation with exactly that. So I could say, I'm feeling, I'm finding myself feeling really quite upset about something and I'm wondering if you could help me with this. Or I am feeling, as I said, whatever it is, X, Y, Z, frustrated is often better than angry. You know, tone it down a little. Work out where you can, what, what can your starting point be? You know, I find myself feeling this or I'm just feeling some challenging and difficult feelings. And I really need you on board um, to, to help me work through this or to help me work out what's going on. Rather than you made me. And the moment we take an ownership and approach the other person with an invitation and a request for help and support to work through something, it changes the dynamic completely. A another interesting aspect of this is that when we do that, we can also bring in something around, you know, I really cherish our relationship or our friendship and I, I'm finding something quite difficult and I'm wondering if we can work at this together or whether you could help me out so that we can work at this together. Your starting point is to say, I have a real commitment here to you and with you and we're in this mutually and I'm as committed to sorting this out as I'm hoping that you may be as well. So it, it's a very different dynamic when we take an ownership of the way that we feel. So that's always the starting point of non-defensive communication. It's certainly something I use when I'm working with couples and I find it to be incredibly effective, whether we're all sitting together in the room or also to give them that as a kind of golden rule when they go home and they communicate together. So I hope that's useful. If it is helpful, do please share that. And if you know anyone who may be struggling with communication, do please share it with them as well. This library is a free resource, so do likewise let people know about it if you think that the contents may be of value.